So now it's holiday time. <laughs> Although we should never take a, ho we a holy day. <laughs> right, a holy day. But a rest time. You know, Jesus said, come apart, rest a while. And if you don't come apart, you'll come apart. In other words, it's <laughs> yeah. a good principle. And, and we do need to have a change of pace. Uh, however, uh, uh, I mentioned Jimmy Durante earlier. Mm. The schnoz, you know. Mm. Uh, I love one of his lines. Uh, he said the other day, somebody called me a name and, I, and a tear started from my eyes down my nose. And he says, it's a brave tear that will take a long trip like that. <laughs> but, uh, you know, just the silly things like yeah. that. But uh, our, our viewers from years past will remember Father Bob McDougall. Yeah. I think when you first joined yeah. me yeah. back in the 80s, yeah. uh, Bob was still around, yeah. although he was now uh, initiating his own television program, which uh, is called Food for Life. Mm. Bob's passed on now to his mm. eternal reward. But Bob gave Jimmy Durante the last rites mm. of, of uh, the church. He led him into an assurance of his salvation on his deathbed in a hospital in California. Bob was down there kind of getting his life sorted out a bit after he, he had this amazing uh, encounter with the Holy Spirit, which absolutely transformed his life. So, so we have on one of the telecasts where Jimmy Durante is featured uh, in the classic comedy segment. Immediately after that, we go into Father Bob McDougall, a, a video that I had of, of Bob explaining the how one has assurance of salvation. Now, these are on the, the uh, DVDs that right. we have of the Really Good Medicine series. And I'm delighted that Ron, our executive producer, he, mm -hmm. Ron's responsible mm -hmm. for writing letters to our partners and, and the fundraising. Uh, he's got to be the point man for that to make sure the bills are paid here at Crossroads 100 Huntley Street. And he decided that um, to offer <laughs> the Really Good Medicine DVD, seven of the... Yeah of the 13 telecasts uh, for a write-in or a call-in or a, an email uh, request or whatever it might be. And I was, uh, I was really delighted that he would make uh, such a decision because I think older people need a laugh. And yet there's a devotional segment, mm. okay? Uh, over 50 parks in Central Florida have a weekly devotional period in the clubhouse. Mm. And people come from all different churches and no church and something. I mean, the, the elderly people now, I'd say probably 90% of them had a church connection mm -hmm. up north or wherever. And uh, so they come together. They all know the old hymns. Doesn't matter what denomination you're from. Yeah. They know the old hymns. And even some of the old choruses like How Great Thou Art, yeah. for example. Uh, doesn't matter what church you come from. People know yeah. those, those songs. And then one of the people from the group will share a message from their heart. So we've captured some of that uh, devotional, uh, two or three minutes at the end of the, the half hour show. In, in terms of the, uh, the, the group that are there, are a lot of them Canadians? Yes, there, there are Canadians there, but they're from everywhere, from yeah. Ohio and Michigan and yeah. New York State and uh, Indiana and Pennsylvania. We really are a, a collection of basically uh, Eastern Canada, and eastern, northeastern United States. Like I notice when you when you refer to where you've come from, you use the generic term north. Up north. <laughs> up north. That up, kind of includes up, us all. Up north. Now, snowbirds. Snowbirds. When you when you produce these programs, was it um, with an uh, an American audience in mind? Yes, it was. Mm -hmm. And uh, what has happened is that the Fox uh, network, not Fox News, mm. but the Fox uh, television network where they have a lot of entertainment, informational shows and so on. Uh, they are very interested in it. The general manager of the Fox 13 station in Tampa and his news director are really high on this series. Now, a lot of the commercial stations in the U.S. do not carry uh, Christian programs anymore. Right, right. They, they, uh, you know, there are the Christian stations and they become kind of like a, a preaching to the choir, if you will. We, uh, we, we have to have a window into the regular commercial television networks. Mm -hmm. And um, even the Fox uh, headquarters in New York uh, City is very high on this series. So uh, I had in mind the millions of older people in Florida who need mm -hmm. to know their destiny for eternity, they need to know Jesus. Like, I'll listen to situation, um, situations, news shows, and so on. And I guess maybe, you know, you get a little, ex uh, 
you, they say you need to develop positive eccentricities when you're in your 30s or 40s because when you're old, those eccentricities are really magnified. <laughs> and so every once in a while, I'll, I'll shout at the TV, you need Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I have been here 14,000 interviews and I've seen how Jesus mm -hmm. has changed the lives of thousands of people who were in similar predicaments, and you need Jesus. Now, we cool it, you know, we cool our jets on this because the other thing about old people is we're, we're rather set in our ways and we don't move easily. And I think there needs to be a gentility, there needs to be, yeah. a, a, we need to love people first of all, and then earn the right for that little devotional segment at the end of each one of these to share very laid back. So people have to realize this. Mm. It's a very late, it's not really a religious no. program, no. but uh, all of you, uh, I've had so many people, young and old, tell me on this recent trip I've done across uh, Northwest Territories, Saskatchewan, Manitoba, Northwestern uh, Ontario, uh, going down to the Maritimes uh, and starting in Montreal on the 9th of uh, September on down into Newfoundland in the fall, winter Ontario. Next spring we'll be out in Alberta and British Columbia and also taking a swing across the north, some of the northern communities we missed in Saskatchewan, Manitoba and Ontario in this last tour. All kinds of people are watching this on CTS. Mm. I think it's 4.30 on Sunday afternoon. I think it's on Saturday as well. And they're coming up to me and they, I know what they're going to say before they open their mouth because they start to laugh. Yeah. <laughs> and laughter's the best medicine, Jim. Yeah, yeah no. Uh, <laughs> and we're going to make uh, the DVDs available to our viewers over yes. the course of the month of July. And so as David uh, comes each day, uh, we'll be giving you the coordinates. You'll be able to phone in, write in, email and uh, get your copy of uh, Really Good Medicine. And it really is going to make you laugh. Thank you, David. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs>